Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back. John Mexico here, another episode of Fragile Allegiance. Took another small break in between episodes, and we're going to continue our, I guess, skirmish <laughs> as far as we are. So uh, here we go. Always a little, takes me a couple of seconds to re realize what I was all doing. Okay, space debilitation contained, very good. Um, this, yeah, these asteroids are doing alright spreading out. I really want to start sizing up my opponents. That's been the objective thus far. Oh, that's right, we're running low on minerals. We started building missiles. I think right about there is good. So, let's put the brakes on you. You have uh, let's a new see message. here. I think you guys are okay where you're at as well. That's about as far as my fleet can go. Now, we haven't been using any of the smaller ships anymore, so uh, what we have now is better range, I believe, considering... Um, yeah, why don't you go there? Just get resituated. Some, yeah, sometimes when you merge fleets and stuff, you just have to make sure they go right back to the asteroid for refueling. Great, now everything's fine. So it's still we're still on good range. That still is enough for me to slingshot around the planets a bit. Uh, Federal Transporter has arrived. I don't think I have anything new to buy, sell, or trade. Let's make sure our transporters don't have anything valuable in them. Nope. <clears throat> and nope. And nope again. Okay. Let's combine up some fleets here. Do we have anything sitting around? Ooh, another fleet battleship. Love it. Love love getting those things off the assembly line. Absolutely. Anything good here? Another destructor? I'll take it. This is not too bad of a force. Fairly solid, I'd say, at this point in the game. Uh, what are we doing on treaties? Uh, Tetracorp. Regillian, none of either. Artemia, none of either. Yeah, the Artemia we're not going to be able to mess with for a very long time, I'm certain. So, let's see here. What do we have for coverage? Good coverage. Is this a major tax base? It is not. So here's what we're going to do with this one. We're going to beef this one up like crazy. We're going to go find the Mana some more. Um, now, these solar matrixes are different than the solar panels. Um, they do more. So 24 megawatts with a power amplifier. This one actually comes with a turret, which is way more expensive, but would increase our defensive capabilities, obviously. Um, the time it takes is ungodly compared to the other solar panel, but produces far more. Um, so this would actually produce 24. Um, for price, let's see here. Let's do base, base uh, production. So 2 megawatts. So this is 12 divided by 2 is 6. So 6 times 5 is 3,000. This is more expensive, but a lot less room consumption, I'm sure. Is this 2 spots or 1 spot? It, it's 4. Okay, it's a 2x2. Two two. So you're saving space, not so much money. So that's that's the kind of difference. With this asteroid, we're going to get more... Let's get 1, 2, 3 more shield jennies. Yeah, this is going to be... Oh, and photon turrets. Yes... Let's get one, Warning. two, three. Okay, what what's going on here? Veer attack is required. Belt fever. Okay. I I think we have some veer attack, so I'm gonna let the medical officer come and talk to me when he's ready. Anti missile, anti missile, anti missile. That gives us a lot of really solid protection. So I'm fairly happy with how that is. It's time for us to go find the mana again. Now, last time. I was blinded by rage, and I just assaulted everything they had. This time, I'd like to at least figure out where they are. So, doing okay on missile production. Uh, selenium I need. Crystallite I need. And then I don't have any of those researches. Let's check our budget real quick. Yep. We're looking really solid from a budgetary standpoint. <laughs> when your construction budget is $2 million, that's awesome. What I really want to do is start working with agents. We have we have the cash. Incoming We're running low on hello, hello agent. agent. Very good. Good timing. Um that aggression pact signed. I'll need to read that in a second here. You have Okay, a new holy message. crap. Trader leaving. Non aggression pact, Regillian and Bricata, Bricacia, whatever. Very good. 
That's fine. I still haven't met them. There we go. There's the Archean. Achean? Achean? It, I don't know. <laughs> Belt Fever Contain. Fantastic. I love it when those those uh, diseases or what have you just take care of themselves. Now this came from down there. That's why I was sending this asteroid that direction. I want to really find... Okay, that one's going... Yeah, they're both going more... It's not really north, south, east, west. It's going more down. <laughs> I guess you can't really use cardinal directions with space travel, can you? I have no idea. Bah, bingo. I want to see if we just see one or two more of them. I don't. Okay, agent time. Spy Salic detected. Go frickin' figure! Okay. Uh, the Archean. How are you? Vivian. Uh, SB has an issue of Alex. In that she is good at her job as he, as he is at his. The rumors that they have the site... As they hate the site or very mention of each other. Beauregard is extremely political, very committed to the Federation, but is also highly critical of it. Whereas she is supremely apolitical and cares not a jot for the Federation. This means that neither of them will accept employment with anyone who is either employing the other. Okay, fair enough. Otherwise, her professionalism means that she will work for or against anyone with the exception of the Artemia, with whom she has a deep and long-standing friendship. She will refuse. She will not refuse to accept any missions against them, but would charge phenomenal rates. Okay, we're not dealing with the Artemia. Uh, let's double-check that. Yeah, we're working with the Bricata. Bricatia. I'm just going to start making up names. <laughs> you are hired. Asteroid location. That's exactly what I want. There. I want asteroid location. Oh my god, so expensive. Forget that. Yep. How about... Oh wait, who do... Oh, we were talking to... Crap, I forgot who we were talking to. Uh, Vivian. You're the one that we saw before. Let me just make sure I'm doing this right. <laughs> Yes, you're exorbitantly expensive. Let's look at Emma. See what she's got on her plate. Uh, Villa Lobos is an information gatherer par excellence, but don't hire her if you want somewhere trashed. She's only as precise as much force. Ba 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 ba. Shall I forget anyone current of disfavor of the authorities? This is not a moral stance, merely pragmatism. She figures that the authorities can make her life difficult enough already since her job is strictly speaking illegal without attracting any more pro problems. She is a heavy user of Arabica Ultra. Is every agent high all the time? Which occasionally means she has to leave between the middle of her missions to sort her supplies out. Awesome. She loathes the mana with a passion, which while it does mean that she's good operative to send against them, occasionally calls her judgment, so she may screw up from an excess of zeal rather than laxity. <laughs> she has a less, than, uh, a less intense but still strong dislike for the Mikotaj and the Bracacia. So it's a good person to send against these two cultures, excellent links to the Archeans, and is extremely reluctant to act against them if employed to do so. She will find a way of compromising her mission. No crap. To a lesser extent, she's also true for the Artemia and the Regilians. Okay, you are perfect. Please have Asteroid. Ugh. Okay. Hmm. I could send two agents. Her to do treaty information and satellite signal recon, I'm assuming much cheaper. I never, I don't think I've ever sent two agents. Yeah. And you. Neither of you are conflicting. So let's see, we did these two and it came to 90. Uh, you don't have treaty information. Okay, it's a little hard to compare prices, but that's okay. 82,000 I can deal with. I just want to know what they've got. That's it. Great. That'll hopefully give us a little bit of an idea of what we're up against. You can stop. Actually, you know what? You can come back a little bit. You have a new message. TNCO11. Yeah. Big whoops. Speaking of which, now that we have a budget, an actually decent budget, Let's get some spy satellites going on. Satellite, satellite, satellite. Ding! 
that's going to allow us, I think if you have a spy satellite on an asteroid, it helps the detection of other spy satellites. I think that's how that works. If these guys only really have one or two colonies or places or whatever, asteroids, um, we could clean them up real quick. They don't have a lot going on. Incoming coded message from agent. Yeah, I'm not going to bother reading that because, Incoming yep, there's a second one. That's what I was waiting agent. for. Uh, oh, asteroid location data in two days. That's interesting. Incoming coded yes. message from agent. Three asteroids. Each of these races have now been down to two or three asteroids. So now we know of four total, right? Yeah, one, two, three, four. So that's interesting how hard they're clumped Incoming up together. Safely arrived. Agent. Fantastic. Incoming coded message. Eight days. Agent. Fantastic. It'd be really important to know the detailed treaty information. I don't want. I've said it a billion times before, so I don't really want message. to deal with a joint combat treaty if it's something that they're just going to hand me my own butt. Because I don't want to have my own butt handed to me. <laughs> that's bad. Uh, Draconium, you're not selling Quizin, uh, Quizink, <laughs> Quazink, you're not selling, or I don't need. Uh, Biofort, anything good for purchase. Super Shellac is at a heck of a good price. Oh, Viratac, thank you. Hi, how you doing? What are you selling? Starbalm, nope. Biofort, nope. Nope. Mm, nope. Okay. Mm, nope. Okay. Viratac is probably becoming a rarity considering the price. Okay, how are we doing on those spy satellites? Incoming coded message from agent. Sure. So just build all ten. I don't. I don't know if you can actually double up spy Incoming satellites either. Coded message from uh, agent. two treaties discovered. Establish satellite data transfer frequencies in eight days. Fantastic. So let's take a look at what they have for kinds of treaties. Uh, Bracacia. Not aggression pact. Not aggression pact. Not aggression pact. So no, oh yeah, per, like permanent. So no joint combat treaties. Duh! Fa. All right, so possibly prepare for war? Ooh, pink, Archean. Yes. That way, please. Okay, we're gonna mobilize the fleets. Incoming coded message from agent. Satellite recon successful. Fantastic. Incoming coded message. Uh, let's message load you up with whatever agent. we have available. Two more battleships. Awesome. And move orders. I want you to go there. And I want you to go there. Very good. Now we're gonna check on the other. This fleet, a little meager, but we'll still be able to get a lot of damage done. The benefit is we've equipped these things with so high shields. Um, they're not as combat effective because we took the shield slot, but the benefit is they'll last longer, which gives us a much higher opportunity to bring them back home and get them up for repairs. There's that. Now, let's also get one of you right over there. And let's get another one. A little micromanaging now just to get everything in place, but I certainly don't mind. And then for you, just so you get in the first slot again, I'm just going to give you a move order to here. So you'll leave too, I think. So the thing is, Warning. seismic penetrator exploded. All right. Where was that? AUF-756. Uh, is that... This one. How many minerals do we have here anyway? Not a bad amount. And it's tapped out. Okay, let's get that transporter moving there. Want to make sure we capture as much of that stuff as possible. So, there please. Thank you. How much more ore do we have here? Nothing. So, we're going to blow up this penetrator. Those things seem to be a little more problem than they're worth, and it frees up some valuable space, believe it or not. Now, how are we on power? We have a lot of these really small, simple power plants. We have a crap ton of extra production. I don't know how necessary that is, but I'm not super worried either. Uh, let's check stress. 
Zero percent, fantastic. Zero percent, fantastic. And you're still doing stuff, fantastic. Can we do? Uh, power generation sabotage. Yeah, why not? We have the cash. You have a new message. That's fine. Thank you. Incoming coded message. Thirteen days. Ethan. Perfect. Now we're moving our ships in the pre Incoming hello. Coded message from <laughs> Vivian Ethan. Beauregard. Great. You oh my gosh. Thank message. you. Thank you. I keep reminding myself this is why I shut off the voice audio, but that's okay. Okay, let's do a check on what we have for minerals remaining. Selenium. Uh, we have plenty of Dragonium now. Is there anything I can build that doesn't require... Crystallite is our problem. Selenium Dragonium, Selenium Dragonium, Selenium Dragonium. Uh, we can do 5 with 30 Draconium. Let's do that. And what do we have here? Because this is our other production capital facility, whatever. Um, we can do a few more ships. Let's do that. So we have 39 of the stuff that's missing, so... Uh, yep. 6 times 6 is 36, so that'll do it just right. Incoming coded message from agent. Uh, power generation sabotage mission complete buildings destroyed four yep 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 that's fine you can go away I was hoping one of these asteroids would actually become unsupportive now that we blew up the power but I'm not too sure how that all works so anyway um, that needs a satellite launch that needs a satellite launch I think with the satellites, what that also does is it helps with agents, like counter counter spy agents. Um, even if it helps like only like two or three percent, I'm more than happy to get these things deployed out. The ironic thing is I didn't deploy any to the planet we already have, like the one that's actually hosting all this stuff. And that's okay. Uh, budget, 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 budget. We just spent a bunch on agents. Uh, I'm going to leave the missile budget alone. The actual spy satellites come out of the... Vehicle budget. Oh, I couldn't think for a second there. Okay, everything's built. We're going to ship these minerals back. No point in having them here. And then the other nice thing about the teleporter is if ever we're under attack and we know we're going to lose you everything, we can always message. ship the minerals back. Oh no, we do have a, a spy satellite on this planet. I guess I just didn't notice it. Oh, that's what I need the barium for. Whoopsie daisy. <clears throat> I forgot that spy satellites even require minerals. Uh, barium. Nope, I need just a little. Let's do that. Okay, hoping that we find another alien uh, culture. I keep saying species just off the cuff, but really they're addressed in this game as alien cultures. Uh, federal transport arrived, kinda don't care. Do you have any more draconium? That'd be awesome. No, you don't. Their inventories don't just magically refresh, but I always have the hope that they do. Uh, SWAT, how's that looking? If that's on the up and up. Nope, it's on the down, so I need to pay attention to SWAT. Uh, give it maybe another 10 days, and it'll be perfect price. Any more Veer Attack out of any of you guys? Veer Attack, no. Yep, not a lot available. I don't know how often... Yes, oh my god, yes. I don't know how often these guys refresh their inventory. The merchants themselves don't until they leave and then come back. But some of these representatives, I don't know how long it takes for them to actually be... You know, to refresh their stock. Uh, we have some more satellites. Fantastic. I don't see one there. Launch. And I don't see one there. Launch. Perfect. Uh, what is this thing? Plasma turret. Nope. This thing. Pleasure dome. Okay. 
That's the other thing that makes it really awesome for... Message. Yeah, you're leaving, I get it. That's the other thing that makes it really awesome in terms of dealing with the personnel, is because I never know how much of what I need to have where. Pleasure domes, security centers, all that stuff. So having that extra supervisor just takes care of it for me. Um, if you're doing it by yourself, the tricky thing is you're going to get a lot of messages like civil unrest, please take care of this or whatever. And it's one more thing you have to worry about. Problem is they don't really give you a clear indication of what's required to fix a problem. So civil unrest, does that mean we need more security? Does that mean we need more pleasure domes? Like you don't you don't really know how to react. In or I don't anyway. Uh, let me guess, you're going to leave. Yeah, that's fine. Thanks for your work. Pleasure doing business. Uh, we need screen jennies. The good thing is now, if they come to us, the enemy, comes to us from any front, we should be fairly prepared or at least be able to bang them up a bunch. We've got the best turrets available. We have the turret optimization package. We have anti-missile turrets. We, we've, got, we've got the best defenses of the game. The only thing we could do to improve that is by, well, building a crap ton of them, which we're doing. Okay, this has now become a tax-based population center. I'm happy with it. Um, do we have any more asteroids that are just ruts in the ground? Um, what is this one looking like? Warning. Fair protection. Let's let's clean this up a little. Ding. Ding. Perfect. How is it on defense? Fair. Not super, but fair. Um, what about this one? Is this one? Yep fully populated. Does this have a bunch of ore in it? It does not. Okay. What about this one? I think this one's beefed. Beefy beefy. Not too shabby. Was this one doing good? Yeah, whenever I even see like one screen generator, that tells me that I actually added a proper amount of shielding. And proper might be a little subjective, but at least gets us a little closer, so... I see this middle part, which is fairly critical, is undefended as crap. So, dink, dink. That's a screen jenny right there. Oh, I need another one. And a dink. Let's get one more anti-missile pod and another plasma turret. You have and then I'll feel pretty good about message. it. Nope. Photon, I meant. 52 days is significant time for building. If you have to really slap something together, laser turrets. They're faster, they're cheaper, not nearly as effective, but they'll at least get the job done. That's what's important. Here I was waiting for a real big scrap to happen, but I guess not. So we have Fleet 1. Three more destructors. We're going to merge this with the other fleet that we have floating around that needed a little bit more of a punch. I think it's Fleet 3, 22 and 6, 17 and 1. Yep, we're going to merge that with Fleet 3. So I want to make sure that even before war happens, that we are prepared as much as possible. Okay. You have a new message. Okay. Now that I'm thinking about it, with the times I've paused and re-continued this game, this has been going on about maybe three days. Pick it up for a few hours, play it a bit. Ah, hello, perfect. Stop. Nope, that's not what I meant. Uh, actually, keep going. These are the Archean. So let's see what we could do for an agent. Uh, Vivian. You've been doing well so far. Archean. Archean. Work against except the Artemia. You're it. Oh, you know what? I take back what I said before. You can use agents defensively. You just increase the spy time. So you could have a defensive spy like this for so many days. So that's what we're going to do. Um, let's just... Duration of spy mission, zero days. She'll figure it out from there. So you can either pay the flat fee or have them dinking around. So what they probably did is they did power sabotage and they set an exorbitant high timeline to it. I'm guessing that's what was happening. Um, asteroid location, satellite signal recon. That sounds good. Please start with that. 
Yasmin, I think you're the loose cannon one, right? Never mind trigger happy, something of a loose cannon. Mm, let's see. She's more effective against Terrans. So, let's just try an experiment here. I want you to go U, A, U, F, T, N, C. I think T, N, C's been the most hit. Let's just do you for 30 days. Let's put you on a trial basis here. So 7,500 is all it costs for her to just sit around and do whatever? Yeah, let's try that. Okay, so I've given no orders to her. She's not going to jack up you my power, I hope. Message. Uh, ready to do business, on her way, hired on her way, available in your sector. Okay, let's do some trading. Please, Draconium. Freaking thank God. Can never have enough of that stuff. Information. Corellium, I have no use for half of that stuff. Uh, how are we doing on SWAT and Veer Attack? Those are the two. Yep, there's all the SWAT. Bought it right off the map. Right off the lot. Uh, Super Shellac, yes. Cheaper than what I bought it for previously. I like it. Okay. Go right down the line. Now's our time to, again, reinvest and really have a good kickback later on. Yeah, I'm dealing 15,000, 25,000, low stuff, and then when I sell just one of these pharmaceuticals back, I'm making hand over fist, absolutely. Double, triple, quadruple, whatever the money based on, however it goes, but that's awesome. Very good. All right, we have agents. I don't know everything about the Artemian. I know everything about these two species, which I could probably wipe out pretty quick if I wanted to. Oh. Uh, those are either missiles or spy satellites. No, those are missiles. I'm getting missiled. Incoming coded message from uh, All right. You want to dance like that? I'll dance like that. You don't missile me and then not Incoming expect a counterattack. I will mess you up. Um... Technical information is available. Asteroid location data in two days. Not a correction pack with Regillian has timed out no longer applicable. So, Regillian, are you? I can think of no good reason not to consider You guys are in still absolutely leaders. zero position to, to counterattack. And I will give them due thought. That's fantastic. Another 12 months is great. Let's do this. Small increments is good. I don't want to make a huge mistake of saying, like, eight years, and then I can never attack them without having to pay a huge fine. Okay. Incoming coded you guys add agent. to fleet three battleships. I can dig it. I want you to go there. And then I want you to go there for the refuel. And then I want you to merge with fleet three. Perfect. Oh, these guys only have four planets. Or three more asteroids. Let's see what they got. Incoming coded message. Do you guys Asia. really want to start something? Fantastic. Agreed. Good. Good, good, good. Incoming coded message from Agent. Vivian Borgar has nothing else to do and we'll leave. That's fine. Um, I'm going to use you again. So, Vivian. Do you do Fatal Building Sabotage? You do. Fantastic. Um, let's do that one. That's going to take me the longest to get to, so let's just... Oh, Personnel Fund is sad. Uh, we're done with missiles. Yes, please. Perfect. Now let's see what we got here. Am I, am I just going to get missiled to death again? You guys are dinks, seriously. Hey, you want to lose a couple of planets? You shot the missiles first. I mean, I was going to attack you, but you started this. Yeah, we're pretty solid on missile defense. We have 100% shield coverage. Incoming I don't really see much of a problem here. Agent. Arrive safely. TNC 011. Okay, hopefully. Incoming. Hello. Oh, that was close. 
Attempt to destroy all population centers life support within four days. Actually, I should have extended that, because she'll only do it once. You have a new message. Okay, when combat is over, we're capturing. Incoming coded message from agent. And that's done. Can you get... No, you can't. If we get there, we might lose the fleet. Nope. Nope. Cancel. Okay, I want you to go here. Oh, what does this one do? Oh, deselects all ships. Okay. So here's what we'll do. Back for refuel. On the attack. That gives them better range. But they still may be stranded. Um, let's run it. Yep. Warning. Fleet may be lost. I get you. Trust me. Report of enemy fleet movement. Colonize. And then come back for fuel. Where's the fleet? Tetracor fleet departing from to attack. That's my fleet! <laughs> Unable to do mission. That's fine, you can leave. I don't have the cash to I don't get I don't get that message. That's departing from to attack K G J two oh five. That this is KGJ two oh five. I'm the only Terrans in this sector. What the crap? Warning. Enemy fleet has been deployed. Tetracore fleet deploying from TLT-227 to attack HRH. What the hell? Incoming coded message from agent. What the heck is going on here? <laughs> okay, why don't you stick around a bit more, okay? This is all very perplexing. I'm wondering why it's giving me notifications about Terran fleets. Um, that's that's more what happens with the spy satellites. That's actually what's going to give you that kind of notification. But still very strange as to why it's telling me about it. About my own Terran fleet. Uh, whatever. Either way, things are starting to kick off. I'm going to pause right here. Incoming uh, hang on. From supervisor. Yes, please. Thank you very much. Um, how are we doing on stuff? Okay, it looks like one missile landed. We're going to pause right here. Hello? There we go. Call us an episode. Thanks for joining me, guys. I appreciate it. Another episode of Fragile Allegiance in the books, and catch me next time.